ma'am should i start yes uh, ma'am uh, around 32 students have joined if you permit should we start yes but okay. some other students will join yeah there no problem whenever they so come they can join have a class at uh, it will be off at 1220 so they okay. will join Later. in that period okay. no problem no problem so hurry let's start okay ma'am okay so let me ma'am uh, formally welcome uh, yes uh, passion of doing something is the key to success and if you love doing something uh, then you will be surely successful a very good afternoon to all of you present here and i take this privilege to warmly welcome all the faculty members students and our chief guest dr sarmista sahu on the fourth day of five day online physics workshop collectively organized by national network national anveshika network of india and pg department of physics kanya mahavidyalaya jalandhar dr sahu has contributed a lot in the physics education and developing an in depth understanding of physics concepts among masses by writing several books by conducting so many workshops and by delivering so many talks uh, <clears throat> we feel very fortunate to have you with us ma'am and mentoring this workshop which will be surely helpful to learn and understand the concepts of physics without it taking much time i request ma'am to please start the today's session thank you ma'am thank you very very much haleen uh, sir aap bahut badhiya se aaram se bol rahe hain i am extremely enamored by the way you are talking thank you so much for welcoming me for this session and i am extremely happy to be in kanya mahavidyalaya a heritage college and i'm hearing so much about it heard you all tell directly i've also gone to the net and found out about the college and i feel really too happy to be with all you all of you today thank you ma'am thank you so much this session will be like the previous ones okay we will have some small activities and based on that we will discuss how exactly we can develop ourselves as a physics teacher or a physics student is everybody ready for it yes ma'am yeah okay yes, students students yes. are you ready like yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am yes ma'am okay before we do anything i want one person to tell me why have you come to the workshop what have you in mind that i must get this from the workshop therefore i will attend or is it just because your ma'am forced you to come you wanted to come and give your attendance or is there any purpose behind your coming for this workshop any one of you want to learn something to learn new things learn something yes to learn something yeah What new and different things uh, some different things yeah fantastic fantastic so you want to learn something different how will it help you as a student if you learn something different it will increase our scientific temperament Yes, it will give you an edge. It will tell you how exactly science students should think and develop themselves. So that will be the biggest, 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 and uh, taking home from this workshop. Okay. So that is why today we are having some puzzles. What exactly do you mean by a puzzle? A puzzle is something that really puzzles you. You don't know the solution. Am I right? And therefore, you think. plan and strategize and try to find out the solution when you complete the solution you get a sense of joy yes i have achieved it and that is what we plan to do today so that we will uh, develop the puzzle all by ourselves we will try to do the complete the puzzle if we can within this two hours if we cannot uh, do it then we will continue it and complete it at home you are anyway at home see that you complete it and then feel the joy that is that you will get after having completed it that will be the biggest reward that you will take home with you after the workshop okay now whenever we are talking about puzzles generally i don't know about you all but i have always bought a puzzle from the market and given it to my child to play with it how many of you create the puzzle yourself Is there any puzzle that you have done yourself? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Could you just uh, highlight on it what exactly you have done? Ma'am, I have taken a cardboard and uh, marked the colors and the and the picture you have sent us, and I have drawn it. 
myself drawn it. Okay, okay. So this is the thing that you have done it. No, I'm asking. Uh, whenever we are playing with a puzzle, how many of you like to play with puzzle? How many of you do Sudoku in the morning? Ma'am, not in the morning, but uh, usually in the Sometimes newspapers. In the Sometimes in the day, in the newspaper. Yes, Ripu, you are one of the persons who would like to do it sometime in the day. Why do you do it? Ma'am, because uh, it increases the strategy of our mind to think more. Yes. And it gives you a special joy when you complete it. When you finish it and you say, oh, this nine line is nine, this box is nine, this diagonal is nine, everything is nine, I am done with it. What is the joy thing, feeling that you get? Most wonderful feeling ever. Yes, most <laughs> wonderful feeling. The sense of achievement. You get a sense of achievement. Yes, I have done it. I have completed it. I have done it. I will do much more difficult ones. I want to do a more challenging one. That becomes the attitude. So you are getting a, a fighting spirit. Yes, I should get difficult, more difficult, more difficult, more difficult problems. And I should be able to complete it, give the solution. Who will give me the reward? Nobody need to give. If I complete it, I will get the reward myself. So that with that attitude, if you are looking at anything, I'm telling you the best thing is to be able to do it yourself. Sometimes we want help, especially during exams, we want help. But something that you do it yourself will give you the greatest joy. And therefore, we should try to do it ourselves. Now, what I have done, a thing is one picture I have already sent to every one of you. And that is known as a tangram. Tangram is a, a Chinese puzzle which has been created by somebody in China. And it is a very popular uh, thing, puzzle, which all children of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, up to 20, 25, even me, people above 60, love to play with it. Okay, so that is why we will start with it. Uh, all of you have got a picture, uh, which is a square, which has some colored geometrical figures, seven of them. And have you pasted it somewhere and cut those pieces into seven pieces? Have you done it? How many of you have? Yeah, how many of you have the square with seven pieces? Maybe we didn't get fear to cut the seven. Like, oh, you have to cut the seven pieces. Fantastic. Then we will do it now. How many of you have the square with you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, just yes, tell me. Yes, 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 yes. Let me see how many. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Quite okay. Ma Quite okay. Ma Very good. Very good. Okay, now what you would do? Do you have a uh, thing, knife or a sharp knife or a scissors or something like that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Whatever you can yes, into seven pieces. Neatly, ne neatness is your reward. The best way to get a puzzle perfect is to do it neatly. So take a sharp knife, put this paper or cardboard or whatever it is on a place which will not spoil your table. Okay, so put some other paper or something, newspaper or something below that before you cut. Otherwise, you'll be cutting your table and spoiling your furniture. Please take care of that. Okay, put some rough newspaper or cloth or something like that. Then you sharply cut all these seven pieces and take out the pieces. Show me the pieces if you can. Okay, I'll give you some 10, 5, 12, 10, 15 minutes. 10 minutes should be sufficient. 5 minutes should be sufficient. Just take a scale, take a sharp knife. Put the scale along the line and uh, with pressure, if you cut, it will cut out. And we have a confusion that the, hmm. uh, how to, there are how, uh, so many pieces that how to cut with seven, seven pieces. No, 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 no. One minute, one minute. I think you are talking about a different thing. There were two pictures. One was a square, which was having seven pieces. Do you all have that or not? No, we have only one picture. It's okay, six okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, just show me what you have. Let me see what you have. Mom, rectangle piece. Hmm, show me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Her, uh, her, Herman has already cut it into. Fantastic. Okay. Now I got it. Okay. Now you are doing something else. Well, okay. Now you have a rectangle which is 10 by 6. Okay. You have 10 squares on one length and 6 squares on another length. Totally, there are 60 units. Yes? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Ah, okay, then. And I had also sent a picture which had colored um, what patches. Some of them were blue, some of them were green, some of them were things like that. Have you marked those pieces? Yes? Have you marked it? No. Okay. Now, even if you have not marked it, I'm just telling you, uh, I think I will share with you all the, my camera. It will be better if I can do that. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes, I ma will share my camera so that it is easy for me to... One second, please. I'm doing something wrong. Okay, first I will close my. <clears throat> first I will share. Can you see my camera now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now what I tell you. I have already cut it and kept it separately. Uh, so actually what I want you to do is you have a rectangle which is 10 by 6. 10 by 6. Okay. And each of those are tiny squares. 1 inch by 1 inch squares. I want you to cut 5 of those units into one tile. For example, like this. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Five of them continuously together is one tile. Another one will be another containing five units. One, two, three, four, five. Like that, you have another unit. Like that, this one. One, two, three, four, five. Totally, if I make all these tiles consisting of five units, totally there are 60 units. 6 into 10 is 60 units. So how many yes. units, how many tiles will you get like this? 12. 12. Okay. I had already sent you a picture, but if you don't have it, I will show it to you right now. How exactly you can... Okay. Let me, let me stop sharing and then show you this. Stop sharing, sharing. I'm getting confused. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, th this many tiles I want you to do. How will you do? You will, in that rectangle, choose tiles which are very close to each other and make different, different shapes of those tiles. Each of these tiles should consist of only five units. One, two, three, four, five. Now, these tiles, each of them should be different type. That means each of these tiles should be of a different shape. So I have given you a sim simple or a, tam a template over here, which shows you what should be the shape of these tiles. One of them can be like F. Another one can be like I. Another one can be letter, English letter L. Another one can be like N. One can be like P. This is ultra P. One can be like T, one of them can be like U, one more can be like V, one can be like W, the other one can be X or plus, and one of them can be like Y, not exactly Y, but looks slightly modified Y, and another one can be like Z. So totally, there will be one, two, three, six on top and six on at the bottom. So totally, I want you to first identify, take that rectangle, keep it on the table, then take a pencil, mark, close tiles, one, two, three, four, five, then stop. Then next to that tile, wherever you finish tile, next to it, you write again, one, two, or maybe write one, 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 five times, then two, 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 five times, then three, 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 five times, like that. 
but each of these tiles should be of different shape and i am showing you these shapes because these are the possible shapes that you can cut out of that rectangle okay so i'm show, keeping these shapes in front of you you feel, first take a pencil and mark each of these tiles for for example you will write 111115 times and that will become f then you will write 22222 like this and that will become probably i then 333 like that in the shape of l and that will become l first you mark after you have completed you cannot that and keep in mind that when you want to cut it it should be a complete tile that means you can't choose four units on one place one corner and take the fifth unit in the other corner then it will not be one tile it will get cut into two pieces we don't want to cut into two pieces each of these tiles should be one unit and then after marking take a sharp knife and cut it carefully so that you have these 12 tiles preferably these 12 tiles okay now please note suppose i'm talking about l l is written like this but you have another l which is ulta of this a mirror image of this that will also do so you can have these letters or their corresponding mirror images there is no problem but you should totally have 12 tiles cut from that 60 units that you have made in the rectangle some of you have already cut very good those of you who haven't cut please take some time and cut it this will take some time please do it carefully don't leave any tile uh, what uh, in between therefore you start from one corner and go to the other don't leave any tile separate are you all doing yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma i have sent you a picture where there was a colored uh, patches are already identified if you have already made this those identified patches still better you can start cutting those of you who haven't made it then you can look at this and start making and then cut but it will take some time for you to draw each of these tiles
Ma'am, done. Done. Very good. Ah, can can I have a look at it, please? I should stop sharing. Then only you can see. Yeah, yes, very good. Very good. This is Aditi. Yeah, excellent. Yes, ma'am. Uh, just uh, please, others, have a look at it. How she has done it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fantastic. Now, will you read those letters? Keep the letters on the table and read them. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I can see it. Ritika has it with her. Yes. Hmm. Please show. You have your uh, thing video on so that you can show it to the others. Please share your work with the others. Can we have a view? I mean possible they yeah, can very share good. it harman preet has shown kritika has shown fantastic aditi is showing excellent excellent beautiful yeah others three people are shown uh, what about the others are you all doing or should we wait for some more time Yes, Deepti is shown. Four. Very good. Am I cutting others? Others are cutting. Yeah, please do cut. Oh, beautiful. You all have really colored it nicely and beautiful, beautiful. Excellent. Yeah. So she's decorated her table and she's nicely placed them all in one line and telling me this is what it is. Very good. Beautiful. Now I, gave, I sent you this picture to make life simple so that you don't get scared. Now this is, I, I didn't want you to see that and do. But first we'll see and do, then I will tell you how to do on your own. Very good. Neatly she has cut. So all of them are looking very neat. Only if it is neat, you can really do the puzzle. Otherwise it will be difficult because one of them will be overlapping with the other and things like that. Okay, so you've taken crayon or paint and nicely colored them. Very good. Okay, so you've taken interest. I'm glad. Rushi is showing it. Very good. Isha has shown. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay. Now, those of you who have finished uh, cutting... Please uh, watch what I'm saying. Assemble all your 12 units so that you get back your rectangle 10 by 6. Okay. Please assemble all the 12 pieces so that you get back your rectangle which was 10 by 6.
and those of you who are cutting please do not mark anything on that to tell you that this is first tile this is second tile and all that keep it unknown Done. Can I have a look? Am I have cut? Yes. Acha, you have finished cutting. Very good. Very good. And you have separated all the twelve pieces. Now I want you to get back to the same mode from which you cut. That means That's you place right. all these. Oh, very good. Uh, who is this? What's your name? Pardon? I'm Aditi. Aditi, uh, have you by any chance marked these anywhere? One, no, two, three, four. No. And you did it so well. Hats off to you. Hats off to you. It's not really that simple for you to assemble it back again from the starting point because each of them look alike. They are all having similar, similar. edges and all that so it is really difficult i'm really surprised how aditi has completed it so well fantastic hearty congratulations aditi let's watch and see yeah. whether the others can do it okay two more minutes i only hope you are not marking anything on the tiles because if you mark and say 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 12 then you can place them back quickly without anybody telling you so please don't mark be fair to yourself you want to create the puzzle you want to play with it and you want to complete the and find out a solution for that okay that should be the attitude Okay, Aditi, your turn. Yes, Instead of making it a rectangle ten by six, what other rectangle can you make? You have one ten by six. Yes, okay. ma'am. Can you make any other rectangle? Just think and tell. Okay, ma'am. Ha, huh, first tell me. Ten into six is equal into sixty. So, if you think of any other length into breadth, which is equal into sixty, you can make that rectangle. So, what into what is equal into sixty? Can you give me two factors of sixty? Twelve into five is it sixty? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now you make one more rectangle. from the ones that you have already made you take a picture of that and then now you switch over and make a 12 by 5 rectangle yes ma'am ma'am done done can i have a look ma'am isha yes ma'am Oh, beautiful! I'm really surprised the way you are doing it so quickly. Extremely wonderful, fantastic, fantastic. No, you have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Acha. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I see. You have not really done a square. It is a rectangle. Each of them is a rectangle. Yes, uh, that's why it is looking like this. Anyway, no problem. uh you may have difficulty okay 
now you do uh, you have finished this take a picture that yes it is well done and completed now you do another rectangle which is 12 by 5 12 by 5 why you can do 12 by 5 because the product of 12 by 5 and 10 by 6 are the same and even if you have marked now it will be of no use if you have marked you can do only 10 by 6 but you can't do 12 by 5 that easily you have to think and strategize and then do think how you have to place it then it will fit into a 12 into 5 rectangle Ma'am, done. Ah, can we? Can I have a look? Can I have a look, please? One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. One, two, three. I'm not able to see. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, and ten. Okay. So the first one you have completed. This is ten by six rectangle. Very well done. Uh, do you have the picture close to you? Yes. From, from where you have cut? Done, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, how quickly y'all are doing! I'm really surprised. I'm sitting with y'all, but I have not completed. Y'all have completed and shown. So much, much smarter than I am. Yes, very good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. Now you break this. You take a picture to say that for your satisfaction. Yes, you have completed. And now you make one twelve by five rectangle. Twelve by five rectangle. Very good. I think you are very smart. Keep it up. Keep it up. Done, ma'am. Ah, uh, can I have a look, Rishi? Yes, yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, show the table. Oh, very good. Superb and real bright colors. Lovely, lovely. Fantastic. Very well done. You have used uh, your uh, what's. Uh, Highlighters made it real bright. Okay, now you take a picture and then make into a twelve by five rectangle. Yes, ma'am. Okay, well done. Well done. You deserve prizes, but I can't give you anything. You're far away. No chocolates. No gifts. Okay, this Ritika, very artistic girl. I'm seeing some pictures on the floor.
Yes. Can I see Sapna? Have you done it? Ma'am, I have done. Okay, can I have a look? Will you switch on your uh, thing and show me? Show your table on which you have kept. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Fantastic. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Keep it up. Okay, now take a picture and then break it and make a 12 by 5 rectangle. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, done. Done. Can I have a look? Ma'am. Yes, please. I want to see it, please. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. No, no, you have done a six by ten. Okay, this is uh, Amanpreet. You had not shown me. This is the first time you are showing. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay. So this is a six by uh, thing, ten rectangle. Very beautifully done. Okay, now what I would suggest is you take a selfie with your uh, picture, yourself and your uh, puzzle, and then break it and make it into a five by 12 rectangle. Okay, ma'am. Okay? Yes. Am I have also done? You have also done. You're lovely. It's I think all of you are lovely experts. Fantastic. Just beautifully done. Okay, I'm telling as others, break it, take a picture of yourself with your um, uh, yeah, product and then break it and make into a 12 by 5 rectangle. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, done. Can I have a look? Me, no. Ma'am, I have also done. Okay, can I have? I think I will have to take a picture now. I have to take. Yala, doing it so beautifully. Now, can I see your face also a little? Can I see your face? No. Me no, yes. Very, very colorful, very beautiful. Okay, now break this. Break this and make it into a 12 by 5 rectangle. This is her okay, job. Yeah, very good. Beautiful. I think a lot of children are doing it, doing it very fast. <laughs> that means I'm far behind. Hello, ma'am. Okay, very good. Oh, it's become extremely glossy. Some magic colors you have used. They are looking so lovely and glossy. Oh, you each of these squares you have nicely outlined. Very good. Very well done. Beautiful, beautiful. Excellent. Okay, now uh, take a picture and then break it and do another 5 by 12 square. 
rectangle i'm sorry not a square So now you can realize that making a 12 by 5 rectangle is not really very easy. That is why you are taking so long. Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah, 10 by 6, you had already seen the picture. You had cut from the picture. Probably you had the picture close to you. Or you had that memory still there, fresh. That this is how I had cut. I had cut one first piece over here, second piece like that. Or maybe you had marked it somewhere, some edge was marked or something like that. So it became very far, quick and you were able to complete that 10 by 6 rectangle so easily. But when you are trying to do this 12 by 5, it is after all a rectangle. What is so different about the first rectangle and second? Only that the length and breadth are different. But is something common? between that 6 by 10 and 12 by 5 rectangles? What is common? Can you tell me? If it is a rectangle, the uh, corner angles have to be 90 degree. If it is a rectangle, the two opposite sides have to be parallel. Okay, that is a nature of the rectangle. But what else is common between the 60, 10 by 6 or 12 by 5 rectangles? Can somebody suggest? Is the perimeter same? Yes, ma'am. No. Perimeter is yeah, two in length. Right. Pardon? Perimeter will it be same? 10 by no, 6? No, it will not be the same. Then what is same? What is common? Think, think for a minute and you will be able to tell. Ma'am, area is same. Ma'am, area, ma area. area. Length into yeah. breadth, same aega, area. Yes, area is the same. Why? Because you are using the same tiles. Area of the tile put together, 12 put together will be whatever, 60 units square. Correct? So the area has to be the same. So 12 by 5, 10 by 6. Are there any other rectangles which will have the same area? Can you please suggest? Um, 15, into 15 into 4. Very good. Very good. 15 into 4. Who said this? 
I'm Aditi. Aditi, very good. And then what else? Ma'am, three into twenty. Three into twenty. Yes, ma'am. Ex extremely wonderful. Extremely wonderful. So three into two twenty. Two into thirty. Two into thirty. So all these are different, different rectangles that you can do because they have the same area. The final product area is length into breadth, which is sixty. And since you have sixty units. you can do any one of these rectangles very easily with this same tiles you can do 12 into 5 15 into 4 30 into 2 20 into 3 and five of them you have suggested five yes very good so can you do 1 into 60 not possible because for making 1 into 60 you will have to have all of them in a straight line but all these tiles are not linear it's that it's not all in the same straight line therefore you can't do anything like 1 into 60 not possible but all the others you can do you can do 2 into 30 you can do 2 into i'm sorry 3 into 20 you can do 4 into 15 5 into 12 and of course you have done it already 6 into 60 uh, 6 into 10 okay now has anybody completed 12 into 5 please think how you can make 12 into 5 every time you choose a tile you have to see what are the vacancies around it and you have to extend only 5 units you should not extend more than that and do not leave any empty spaces after the second tile then between the first second and third tile then between 1 2 3 fourth tile and so on there should not be any empty gaps then only you will be able to do otherwise it is very difficult you will not be able to do if you leave any gaps or any projections outside the rectangle i want at least one child to complete 12 into 5 and show dp okay and one tile is not fixing other one is also 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 and it's not fixing 
Huh? But very and nicely possible. done. One minute. And that is not fixing. There is only one tile. I think you have done 5 into 13 or what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You have done 5 into 12? No, I'm at 6. Oh, sorry. I got say 5. No, 5 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, then it should fix. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ah, keep that. No. And there is something. No, it should not. I'm just trying to see where is the problem. Yes, ma'am. And there's something here. Like, no, it can't because everything you have all you have used eleven. This is the twelfth one. That V is twelfth one. Pink one. On the right hand side is the twelfth one. Yes, ma'am. It can't happen. Because you are showing me that there are two gaps. It can't happen. Uh, L plus Maybe T. Told us to do six one minute. F. One sec. One sec. P. Um, w. N. I. U. Um, you are making surprising me. That is, the and that is the puzzle. Yes, ma'am. Uh, just pu push it back and make it a rectangle now. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. The W is not fitting. Take out the W from there. No, that uh, this pink one is not uh, sitting properly. And this is not fitting. My problems are always unique. Your problems are always unique. Very yes. good. Very good. Actually, I, I'm really surprised. Everything is cut properly. W, U, V. Anyway, you are coming very close to it. There is one small mistake somewhere which is not recognizable. Yeah, very good. But uh, very good. I mean, Deepi is just fantastic. Anybody else has completed? I'm taking a picture of this. I will try it out once more. Okay. Okay. Acha. Uh, Deepi, will you now try? Uh, yes. Let us say 20 by 3. Okay, ma'am. Keep, keep, keep track. 20 by 3 means it should not exceed more than 3. Okay, so every time you are keeping on the breath, there has to be 3 units. Okay, then only you can finish, otherwise you can't finish. Okay, okay. ma'am. Uh -huh. Keep it. Keep doing. Okay, 20 by 3. Okay, how the children are getting absorbed in their work. They are not willing to get up and do anything else. They are totally engrossed in it. Is 
ସେଇ ଜିନିଷଟା କରିକି ମୁଁ ରଖିଲି କୁଆଡେ ପଳେଇଲା Are you all progressing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma okay.
looks like it's going to take a long time so we will not continue with this because we are spending too much of time completing one but would you like to do it at home yes somebody has done no 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 three okay three i am working on this okay okay progress is very good extremely good and uh, this uh, peach color you shift it a little yes ma'am there has to be a p over there yes ma'am this gap over here will have a p but you don't have a p ma'am i have used it there ha huh. so you can't use it any more so that gap is not okay so this will not complete yes ma'am ha huh. Yeah, Sandeep, have you done? Uh, i think we will stop over there because it's taking really long time to complete uh, uh, please have a look at this i said that we have now 12 tiles and these uh, tiles are something similar to our alphabets f i l n p t u v w x y and z yes or no Okay. Yes, yes ma'am. And, and I was asking you to do these six into ten, which you had done it successfully. Five into twelve, four into fifteen, and three into twenty. Uh, Aditi, have a look at this. You were very close to it, but something went wrong. Just have a look at it. And that was me. That was you. Yes. and you did it very close to it but there was one little mistake that's why you could not complete it okay i will leave this with you but i want you to do it on your own what are the other things that you can do i'm just giving you ideas 
you can on each of these were having some uh, structure and we were calling it as f t l v etc if instead of making one piece suppose you take nine of them each of these styles are called as pent pentamino can you understand why it is known as a pentamino penta means five man five, five. Yeah, and each of these styles have five units okay so that is why it is known as a pentamino now each of these uh, letters for example let us say f i i can make f out of nine of these styles so you can now rearrange take nine of them and make a bigger f instead of taking just one tile which was f choose a number of them nine of them and make one f bigger f similarly you can take nine of them and make a bigger t you can take nine of them and make a bigger v you can make nine of them and make w w and so on that means all these 12 tiles can be reconstructed with nine others to give you a bigger of that alphabet will you try one of them don't do everything at least let us say v v is simplest look look at this v is simplest so now make a v out of nine of your pentamino tiles i'm covering it i don't want you to see and do try to make a v a bigger v with only nine of them so keep all the 12 in front of you try to arrange them such that you get a v with nine of them a complete v Are you doing? though it looks very simple it's not really that simple to complete it from the fact that you are trying and not able to complete becomes very clear that it's not really that simple Thank you. 
Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, yes. Have you done? Can I have a look? Ma'am, if we reverse the uh, tiles, then it is possible. But we color yes, on yes. one side only. Show me. Doesn't matter. Show me. Uh, I have to stop sharing. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, five by two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve by five. Excellent. Keep it up. Superb. Now uh, that means you have taken mirror images of the previous tiles. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, and it is done very beautifully. Please give her a hand. Who is this? Uh, Harman Green. Correct. Okay, beautifully done. Uh, what I will explain to you now. Uh, can I have your? No, I I didn't take a picture. I want to take a picture. Herman, please show. Can I see? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. In fact, it would be nice if you could show your face also. Not possible because you have to keep this horizontal. You can't have it. Anyway, very beautifully done. Now we will get back to uh, looking at the tiles in a little detail. Then you will be understanding why you had to turn it upside down. Okay. Uh, shall we go to the tiles? Uh, will you stop or you are getting totally engrossed? You don't want to stop. Uh, can we stop, please? Yes. We'll go back to the tiles and we'll just explain what is happening on in these cases. Ma'am, done. Yeah, done. Can I have a look now? Achha, I'll, I'll uh, think. Have it. I will see it after this. Let me just explain to you what is happening. Uh, look here, please. Uh, I first told you that make a ten by six rectangle. Which will have, let us say, sixty units. Ten into six is sixty. Sixty units, each of them having a square as a unit, and then cut it into each tile should have five units. And therefore, since it is sixty, totally sixty, if each of these tiles have to be five units, I must have twelve. Twelve into five is equal into sixty, and therefore you must have five tiles. I also gave you a picture of what the tiles should be. but i should not have given you but you can have a look at these tiles and say that this is the only choice you can't have anything different from this if each of your tiles have to be different just uh, make an assessment suppose i want to have five tiles five units as one tile then one of the choices is all the five should be in one straight line okay which we are calling it as i yes or no Yes? No? Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So uh, after I make one of them as I, what are the other choices? I can move one of this unit like this. If I do this, then I will have an L. I can also move this unit this side. Can you see my cursor? If I move this unit this side. then again i will have an l but in this direction which is nothing but a l and this l are mirror images do you know what a mirror image is yes ma'am there is lateral inversion yes, so suppose i keep a mirror over here then this l which is pink color would look like this l which would be let us say a, a purple color but it would be like this that that means this l and that l is basically not different they are l only but they are mirror images of that if any of your tile is a mirror image of one you have already done please don't make it because they are similar therefore i can't may move this tile this side if i have already moved it this side so i have l what else can i do no instead of having four units like this i can have three units in a straight line So suppose I keep three units straight line like this. I can take this tile and put it over here. 
and i can take this tile and put it over here i can take this tile and put it over here if i put all the three tiles in this direction and then you have two tiles over here it would become t because i had three tiles in a straight line i took two other uh, units and i put one on the left and one on the right then it would become a letter t suppose i take three tiles in a row and put both of them on, together one after another then it would become equivalent to v if i had three tiles in a row i can keep one tile on one end another tile on another end then it would become equivalent to u if i keep this tile over here and this tile over here it would again become equivalent to u but a mirror image of the first u which is not allowed and therefore i would get only one u if i take another three tiles like this and keep one tile on the left and one tile on the right of the center then i would get a plus sign if i take three tiles in a straight line and take one tile over here this is actually four tiles four tiles i forgot to tell you four tiles instead of keeping one over here if i keep it at the center then it would become equivalent to this letter which i am calling it as y instead of keeping it over here if i keep it this side then it will again be y but a mirror image therefore i don't want it so i can have one y if i take three tiles and i keep one on the left and one on the right at the edges top edge and bottom edge then it will become equivalent to z is there any other choice suppose i keep two tiles in a straight line if i keep two tiles in a straight line like this then all the other three uh, tiles i will keep it like this in one straight line it will become equivalent to n and other than this whatever else you do rearrangement of these units you will only get a mirror image of one of these letters which is not a separate tile altogether and hence there can be a maximum of 12 tiles which are all independent from each other they are totally different from each other if you make a p and a mirror image of p from your rectangle it is not wrong but it will become a easier or a simpler puzzle you wouldn't have taken so long to complete it if some of them were mirror images of each other for example you had a t like this you had also another t like this then your puzzle would would have, would have become much simpler you would be able to fit it in quickly if you want to make a puzzle which is very difficult then it is essential that each one of them should be different from the other one then it will become a difficult tile it will take longer for you to complete it and it will become a better challenge for the person who is trying to fix it into that whatever shape he has decided okay that is why you have to work such that all your tiles are independently or independent from each other or different from each other and they are unique okay now did you get this idea first that yes i have to make the tiles different from each other yes or no yes ma'am yes, ma yes because if you make it similar then it will be easy to fit you can either put one or put the other okay now what uh, hanam has just now done has done it very beautifully it is because one tile she has placed it in some place which requires a mirror image she had to turn it upside down and make two or three of them mirror images it's not wrong it is perfectly fine if i had not colored one side but if i had colored both the sides same then you wouldn't be able to make out whether it is a mirror image or not okay so therefore it is a perfect way of fixing it so that you get whatever shape you have decided even with their mirror images which is beautifully done and she is i think probably the first child to have completed the second problem okay now what are the other things you can do i just now mentioned you can make all these rectangles i will leave this picture with you but i feel that you should do it yourself and you will get a better satisfaction if you can do it yourself you can also do each of these letters with nine of these pentaminos okay all these pictures are here but i would prefer you spend some time and try to do it yourself and then take a picture of yourself having completed it instead of trying to copy it from somewhere 
Now, are there anything else that you can do? Please look. You mentioned that the area has to be equal to 60 units. There cannot be anything more or anything less because you have a total of 60 units with you. Now, suppose I tell you, please make a square of side eight. Please suggest, can you do it or cannot do it? Make a square of side eight units. Then we cannot do it. Yes, Why because the total area is because equal to area is 64. 64. 64. And we have 60 tiles. You have only 60 tiles. Yes, ma'am. But yes, you can do it provided you make some uh, blocks empty. And how many blocks you have to make empty? You have to make four blocks empty. Four blocks. Suppose you make a square of side 8 by 8, then total area should have been 64. All right. If you keep filling it completely from the surface and exactly at the center, suppose you make a square, which is two by two, which means it has four units and that you don't fill it. Then you will have a, a square. The outline is a square and the center, which is empty, is also a square. So my statement, can you make a, six, a square of eight units? The answer would be yes, if I want to completely fill it, then I can't make. Because if I want to completely fill it, I require 64 units. But instead of completely filling it, suppose I fill it such that the center square, which is two by two is left empty, then yes, I can do it. Can you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Can you draw a picture and show me what I'm talking? Can you make a picture of that? Making it uh, now will take a long time. So just make a picture and show me. When you're not colored picture, just make a sketch. Eight by eight square. And whatever you need to do to complete it. Do we need to make a square of 8 by 8? Pardon? Yes. Uh, can I have a look at it, please? It's a simple sketch. I have drawn it. Yeah. Show me the sketch. You have done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. Exactly at the center. Which will be the center? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And this is 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In this, this square. Okay, make it black. This square. Which one? Huh. Just uh, sketch it black. Ma'am? Yeah. Yes, very good. This is what I'm talking about. So you have 8 by 8. This is supposed to be 64. But we don't have 64. So you keep this square empty. And then fill up all that. You will be able to do it. 
can you uh, pictureize that yes it is possible yes i will give it to you as a challenge you will do it and then satisfy yourself yes it can be done you it is possible to do something like this in fact you can keep this empty block not only at the center you can keep it elsewhere also and still it will be possible because the rest of the area is equal to 60 units okay now i'm giving you another clue uh, suppose i take uh, numbers like 4 the what is double of 4 16 16 no double double two times 8 what is double of 8 16 what is double of 16 32 32, 32. now add up 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 and see what it is ma'am it's 60 it is 60 will you be able to do a picture which has four blocks plus eight blocks plus 16 blocks plus 32 blocks you can now imagine what sort of a block it will be it will be some something like a step you first make four units then next to it you make eight units next to it you make 16 units next to it you make 32 units and make it a figure which is in the form of a step are you getting my point yes ma'am yes ma'am yes you will be able to do something like that so anything that is giving you an area equal to 60 units you will be able to do now i'm leaving it for you to decide what take what other pictures you can do in addition to this does it have to be necessarily only geometrical figures no you can create anything you want you put all these tiles together make a picture then you will see that yes you can make different different types of pictures of a horse of a thing of whatever you can think of you make the picture and then you give it a name i'm just showing you a sample so that you can think in those lines and do it this is one of it i wanted to play with you all this but there is not much time suppose you take a square and mark this two triangles over here and one parallelogram one more right angle triangle square and another right angle triangle and again another right angle triangle you divide your square into this many pieces this is called tangram actually i had sent this picture but maybe it is just slipped out so you've not been able to do take a colored paper or take an ordinary paper make a square and mark this after you cut it out you can join all these pieces all the seven pieces and make variety of pictures and each of these pictures you can create for yourself and after creating you can give it a name if you make a picture like this what would you like to call it are you seeing seeing this am i sharing it no i don't think i have shared it oh no 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 it is it's not showing no it's not shared that is why it is not visible i'm sorry uh where do i go i will minimize it i will share i didn't share it so automatically yeah sorry sorry yeah i was talking about this this is called a tangram okay so at home now you go back and do a picture make a square and mark this can you see this lines they are all yes. geometrical yes. pictures make them into these this shapes and then cut it out once you cut it out if you want to go back and make a square you will find that it is not really that simple you will get into problem you will not be able to make it a square first try making it a square rectangle then a parallelogram triangle hexagon and all those shapes with these seven tiles after you are satisfied with that you can make take all these seven tiles and make all these create your own shapes once you create that shape you can give it a name so that will tell you how creative you are to be able to design different different pictures and tell that okay this is a ram this is a horse this is a swan this is this this is cow and so on so you can try playing with this and creating your own pictures to see how many different pictures you can make 
with these seven tiles only the same thing you can do with your uh, 12 tiles that you have made just now keep making different different pictures so that will give you an opportunity to expand your ideas to stretch your brain and to think in different ways it doesn't have to necessarily be only geometrical figures you can create whatever you wish would you like to do it at home yes yes yeah i think you should take it up as a challenge yes i will do it you have now 12 tiles with you play with it try to create something different something new and then share it with your friends you challenge each other and you will be able to do it yes so somebody is drawing it perfectly as quickly as she can fantastic oh she's got all the squares ready and look at her very good twinkle extremely wonderful work keep it up Thank keep you. it up can watch her she is doing it beautiful okay then you can color it and do all your sort of creativity later on now this uh, i have sort of found it very interesting uh, you can play with it you can have it as a party game if you like you can play among your friends and whenever there is a get together if you want to have some games you can play with it you can make many things out of this same tiles that you have with you so i'm giving you room to think of different ways of utilizing that and learning from it okay now you can ask yes, i will not talk any more i think i want you to share your feelings what you felt about it Uh, i think i will close my camera yes. yes students yeah i think now i can use my regular my thing zoom camera yeah okay now do you have any questions any queries anything you want to know anything you want to share please tell Did you learn anything new? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Did you get bored? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma Given you an opportunity to think something different from what you are studying in the classroom every time. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Will it be of any help to your physics classes? Yes, ma'am. yes definitely because you are learning how to plan how to do how to proceed further all your problems are nothing but the same thing there is a question you don't know how to solve it so you have to actually plan it out what is given what is there with me how do i place it so that i get my corresponding answer in an experiment what are you doing you are uh, trying to fix some jigsaw puzzles to get your answer so everywhere you are using this tie style of thinking and therefore it will enhance your thinking power it will enhance your problem solving capacity so it's a good way of uh, sort of uh, tuning yourself to think in a different way okay yeah is there anything else you would like to say, share Yes, yeah, students. You can share your feelings and what you have learned. And if you want to ask something to ma'am, you can ask. I think they are quite exhausted. Two hours is a long time. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, so I'm glad that you are participating, and the participation was extremely high compared to the other three days. Yes. thank you very much lots of thank children you. are doing very very good i am extremely happy uh, please continue this spirit and i'll be you will uh, realize that the end of the day you are going to benefit okay yes, so thank sure. you very much children thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you very much thank you very much ma'am thank you sanishta ma'am for this wonderful se session 
and i hope that uh, all the students have learned a lot and will surely try to develop such activities at their homes from their day to day experiences so that they can learn and they can achieve better in their life thank you very much ma'am yeah thanks a lot uh, sir very 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 and you've been with us throughout the time thanks a lot okay okay uh tomorrow i wish to show some demonstration okay so they don't have to come prepared with anything i will try to show something okay okay ma'am okay right so okay. shall we uh, disperse now yes thank yes. you very much okay okay ma'am thank you thanks a lot